third grade. I am back at you today. It's day two. We're learning about Pittsburgh and hopefully you did um, or learned a little bit on your own. Today we're going to show you first, we're going to do a lot of like searching and showing you things on the computer. So I want to backtrack very quickly to yesterday. We want you to be near an adult when you're searching on the computer. Um, Mrs. Gelly and your team of third grade teachers have tried really hard to find you safe places to go, but we always want you to be with an adult um, when you're on the internet. So, the one place I'm going to show you about is because we are going to go to the zoo. I should have said that. We are going to tour, in some ways, the Pittsburgh Zoo, which I mentioned yesterday. Um, because I like animals, and most third graders like animals. Um, however, if animals aren't your thing, please, with an adult, search other things. Um, we're going to show you. We talked about museums and the Science Center, and we're going to show you some other things that are in Pittsburgh as well. But if you want to stick with Mrs. Skelly today and your third grade teachers, the first site we're going to show you, we searched on our computers, pittsburghzoo.org, okay? And when you type that in correctly, this site will come up, okay? Now, anyone who knows Mrs. Skelly well knows I'm not good at computers, so bear with me if I make some mistakes. The first thing that I want to show you, if we skip down a little bit just because, um, I, I thought this was kind of cute. It says, um, bringing the zoo to you. So I was kind of curious, how do you bring a zoo to Altoona? So I clicked on this, and here's a really cool thing. Because it says, if you look at the very first sentence, in response to the, co the COVID-19, our virus, the situation in Pennsylvania, the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium is temporarily closed to the public until further notice but you can still bring the zoo home to you. So since you can't visit the zoo, even if you wanted to, they have some different webcam set up and some different things that you can learn and look at with the animals. So I checked out the penguins. This is my uncle Jimmy's favorite animal and it's, and when I hit on the big screen, there's a camera. And right now, these are what the penguins are doing in the Pittsburgh Zoo. You have one over here. He's swimming. She's swimming maybe. Oh, this one's going to jump. Ready? Okay. So, oh, here comes one poking out of the rocks. So, honestly, you could watch these little penguins all day long if you wanted to. They're so cute. Okay. So, I'm going to hit escape. Okay. And I am going to, I think, go back one, we hope. Okay, and here's a cheetah webcam. And we're not gonna show you everything there is, but my goodness, we're gonna go from penguins to cheetahs. We're gonna see if we can see these guys because during the daytime, you often can't. I'm trying to look because they camouflage pretty well. I see some grass. We don't have that at home. <laughs> so that was a bust. So maybe I'd go back to the penguins, but I'm going to show you another site that will always, or another place on the Pittsburgh Zoo site that will always give you stuff. If you go to learn third grade, because that's our big goal here for you guys. We want you learning something new every day. Remember, today is a day to learn something new. So if you click on animals, you are gonna find every animal that is at the zoo. And you know what I learned when I searched this site? I learned the Pittsburgh Zoo has over 4,000 animals there. Isn't that crazy? Um, so again, we're not gonna read them all for you, but we have elephants and lions, tortoises, beavers, tigers, and barn owls. Let's click on the black rhinoceros. And this won't be a live video, but here's a live picture. Okay, there's a picture taken with a, a photograph, a photograph that was taken of a black rhinoceros. And then if you go down, it gives you the scientific name. It tells you a black rhinoceros is a mammal. And then there's all kinds of quick facts about the black rhinoceros, okay? How big it is, how much it weighs. Do you see that third grade? up to 3,000 pounds, okay? 
It tells you where they live in nature and it tells you what they eat, okay? And some other quick facts. So no matter what animal, now remember these are only the animals that we will find if we would visit the Pittsburgh Zoo. So let's head to a flamingo just to show you. And again, here's a photograph of flamingos. And then we'll go down and very similar, Scient whoops, sorry, scientific name, what kind of animal it is. Now, instead of 3,000 pounds, check this out. This bird only weighs five or six pounds, okay? It tells you where it lives when it's out in nature, what it eats, and a few more quick facts, okay? All right, so that's one of the places, if you're able to, we'd like you to visit today to learn a little bit about Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, we're focusing with the zoo today. Now, another place that we found is if you are permitted or able, this YouTube, if you go on a YouTube site, okay, which we have done YouTube at school sometimes safely with, with the teacher helping us, you're gonna search Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. So from a parent's phone or, or something like that where we have internet access, this is another whole site um, set up by the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Zoo. So we think it's pretty safe and a good place to learn, okay? So what are you gonna do today? Well, you're gonna really have fun. You're gonna learn a little bit about animals, absolutely. You're gonna learn about this amazing zoo that's in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and what we are gonna ask you to do is this. If you would write down the favorite animal you learned about today and a few facts, or if you'd like to write about your favorite animal and why that's your favorite animal at the Pittsburgh Zoo or the one you'd most wanna visit, okay? And if you don't have a lot of access to the internet, you could simply write about an animal you would love to see when you visit a zoo or if you visit a zoo and why you wanna see that animal and what you'd wanna learn about it, okay? Remember, we're still gathering some facts here because tomorrow is gonna to be Wednesday, it's our project day. And we're gonna be doing, giving you a couple different ideas of a project you could keep or email to your teacher so they would have it for work that you did in social studies this week. All right, so have fun looking and learning about animals.